Hi, uh, my name is Richard Alcock. I'm an independent um, agronomist based near Bath in Somerset. Um, and we are with um, a business um, that, that I advise, um, Nathan Hopkins of Hopkins Developments Limited uh, near Yeovil in Somerset. The total um, farm area is around about uh, 1,200 hectares of arable um, and soil types vary from a very high clay fraction, silty clay loams, to um, some green sand and also some um, some brash. The wheat varieties um, grown on, on, on the farm currently are um, Skyfall and Crusoe. Skyfall in the first wheat slot, Crusoe in the second wheat slot, both quality wheats and grown for quality aiming at the Group 1 market. Um, fungicide strategy um, has been um, a T0 to Tebuconazole chlorothalonil, um, T1 of Adexar um, chlorothalonil um, and the T2 of Librax chlorothalonil. Um, crops generally at the moment are, are, are looking very well. Um, the very prolonged dry period stressed um, one or two out, but they're sort of growing away from it now. In this trial, um, we're comparing um, Aviator at T1 with Elatisera at T2 against the farm standard um, of um, Adexar T1 and um, Librax T2. The field that we're in um, is a second winter wheat variety Crusoe. It's um, in, in the second wheat slot and wanted to sort of really choose a field that not necessarily cherry picking the best field on the business, one that perhaps knew was going to be a little bit testing to sort of see if we can split the differences out between the products that, that, that we're using. Um, and um, generally, obviously wanting to sort of um, have a true sort of benchmark as to what we're doing because obviously using I have used Dexar for the last uh, two or three seasons and got on with it very well um, but um, see that there's no uh, nothing wrong with actually putting yourself into a situation where you're um, cross-referencing to make sure that what you're choosing to do for the business is the right thing. BASF We Create Chemistry